Family traditions. This is uh, a Christmas thing. Um, basically, in my family, the way we celebrate Christmas uh, is, is a two-part thing. A, we've got Christmas Eve, which we do a big meal. You know, everyone gets together, we do a big meal, play some games, amongst other stuff. And then Christmas Day, we obviously open up the, like, you know, the gifts, Santa comes, <laughs> and we have a great time. Uh, the Christmas Eve has been a special thing that, that crept up when I was about 12. Uh, around that period of time, I had moved on from certain beliefs, <laughs> clearly because I knew what was going on, and my mom wanted to make the game of Christmas a little bit interesting in some way, so she decided to come up with really, really cool ideas where uh, we do this thing now where we all pitch in for this one. It's gotten bigger over the years and stuff. But uh, we'll get each other gifts. Little small things, like say a gift card or like a chapstick or something. And we'll make a, we'll get a whole bunch of them, right? Lots of them. And put numbers on them with their names. And then we take these gifts all together as a group. And we go and hide them around the house, right? So they're all in random places and nobody knows where they're at except for the people that placed them. Uh, you try not to cheat because you try not to cheat. Uh, and then you go and find them. But, oh wait, there's a catch. Uh, first you have to have a list of numbers, so you have to you know, scratch them off as you go. Just make sure you can find all your gifts. Um, and then the first person that wins the game, you know, finds all their stuff, they get a prize, right? And then there's certain special prizes out there, like we have a Ralphie bobblehead, you know Ralphie from A Christmas Story. Um, we have a bobblehead of him. We hide him somewhere around the house. My mom always calls him Richie, because she, just I always happens to do that, and I'm like, it's Ralphie! Um, so that's a tris Christmas tradition that's been on for years as well. You find Ralphie, you get a prize. Uh, she hides certain little special items around the house. You find those, you get a prize, like a dollar or something. You know, something you know, super significant. But it's something that, you know, you want to win the stuff, you know, so it's kind of nice. Um, so we hide these around the house, but oh, wait! The biggest catch of them all is that uh, the first year we did this, we had an incident with the police coming to the house, as far as I can remember, or at least maybe it was just a story that I made up for my friends, uh, but I like telling it anyway. We turn off all the lights and give everybody a little itty-bitty flashlight so you gotta find everything in the dark. So, it's not just a scavenger hunt for prizes and, and gifts and stuff like that, but you also do it in the dark and it becomes a really awesome game. And then, as soon as the game's over, everyone's got a bag full of stuff that they've obviously gotten from multiple people. Um, we open them one by one, so we start with mom one, dad one, you know, Pat one, Jim one, me one. Then you go around the room and it's whatever. Uh, they're not, they're, some of them are gag gifts, some of them are just like, you know, whatever. And then every once in a while she'll like hide, uh, she'll see like wrapping paper and she'll like put them all around the house and say if you find these, pick them up. And you'll find them, you grab them, and you unwrap them, there's like, you know, quarters and nickels and dimes or whatever. And by the end of the game, you not only have someone that's gotten more prizes because they won the game, sort of because they found everything first, uh, and then on top of it, you know, they found the special items for, for money. And then on top of it, you found those little items that have more money inside of them, and by the end of the game, you have another victor who is, well, who just won the most amount of money? <laughs> so, it's kind of several games in one, and it's really, really fun. I promise you, you'll have a blast. You should start this tradition in, like, ASAP with your kids. Um, but seriously, that's a Brower family tradition since I was 13, and it has been going on for nine. This is year 19, as far as I, maybe 19 or 20 years at this point. But it's definitely, it's it's awesome sauce. So, you know, play your games because it's a family bonding experience that that'll make the season like that much more awesome. And tis the season to be awesome. So you might as well go ahead and do it. Um, my name is Tommy, I'm everybody's big bro, and no matter what happens, do not forget to dance.